something somewhere. Jesus Christ. This doesn't end? Oh my god! Should we run and find a different way? We gotta have to, we have to do this. Oh Jesus, man! This is the final boss. What is this? This is insane. Ricochet. Snack time. Smirks, he didn't do anything. Alright. You bastard. I liked you. Oh. Okay. Jesus Christ. So we just went after his uvula to make him vomit us up, I guess? Nope. See you later. Humphrey, you fat bitch. Oh, Jesus. There it is. That's the W. Blech. Well, I didn't go down smoothly at all. Hmm. Suddenly, I feel so sleepy. I think I'll take a short nap. Oh, is he dead? He's That guy's omega dead. That guy's dead 20 squared. That was a close one. Yeah. Never want to make a, hum a hungry stomach. That was really scary. But you know what? At least we got through it together. So what do you guys want to do now? I'm not sure. We weren't looking for something. We didn't hear him mention this before. Yeah, we were just following Sweetheart, but... That situation seemed to have resolved itself. No, I'm pretty sure there was something else. Aubrey, you're always worrying about nothing. Come on, you should learn to relax and just enjoy yourself sometimes. I guess that's true. I'm a little tired of worrying so much. I don't like forgetting, Basil. This is gonna finish it, and I'm very nervous. But we're gonna- we gotta do it. I need to know what this does. Okay. That's the final key. I'm nervous. Nothing? Oh, of course it's not nothing. Welcome to Black Space. Oh, fuck me. What does that do? Okay. That's Basil's house. Is he there? He's in black space? Hell, man. Okay. Is that a hint to go back to Basil's house? Is that what that means? Fuck, what do we do? I'm so lost, like... So much is happening. I'm surprised there's not more dialogue, man. 
it's making me really mad. <laughs> like, fucking God, worry about Basil. They forgot him, and it makes me really sad. Don't do that. I figured it. Where the fuck does this go? I figured that the Tangman was gonna be a bonus thing, and I have no idea anymore. The way that they had that open up at Basil's house makes it seem like it's part of the story. I thought it was just gonna be a side thing, but maybe they are expecting you to solve it. I don't know, it's so weird that we don't have a direction now. Like, I don't understand. Our Basil mission is gone. I hate this game. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Well, I think we're going to end it here on the worst cliffhanger ever for not only myself, but everybody watching. Well, actually, these come up episodically anyways, so like you'll probably see it soon after this comes out in episode. So I'm just cliffhangering myself, so fuck me, I guess. I don't like what's happening. I don't like forgetting Basil at all, and I don't like the fact that we lost the mission. I'm glad our stuff of him is still here. <laughs> like, the bad drawing, so we know what, you know, what he was gonna look like. So... Well, look at the faux facts. Oh, yeah, we found this fucking tree <laughs> as well. It's just the big, strong tree. I don't... Wow, it's so big and strong. I, uh, <laughs> I just ran into a tree and it started fighting me, okay? I'm fucking angry. Or, I'm feeling emotions and I don't like them. <laughs> oh, yeah, and horse head and horse butt. We also found those as well. Uh, one part of a feudal attempt to look like a complete horse, well at least they tried their best, and then this costume is the butt. Oh now you're just being mean. <laughs> There's so many like enemies we miss. I feel like we should have gone to the pyramid by now. Maybe there's something I'm missing. I'll probably look it up and see if we're just if I like skip the whole pyramid. This feels like like, this is the end. So, I'll probably look up to see if I should have went to the pyramid place beforehand. Um, I don't know. But, I'll start with these, I guess. Slime bunny, too sticky to hug, too sticky to love. <laughs> Made of slime, tastes like lime. I tell, don't say that ever again. Water mimic, an obviously fake trap that'll only be able to fool most feeble to mind all of individuals. Amori. Oh, nuts. I thought this was a watermelon for sure. It's not bubble. A fragile being with a short lifespan. At least do a life of per impermanence and smells like a wet dog. Wormbot. A robotic worm with razor sharp teeth. Its favorite food is carrots. Okay. Lab rat. A self proclaimed scientific genius. Specializes in theoretical chemistry, but its true passion lies on the silver screen. I hope it gets its brick break one day. <laughs> oh. A monster made up of all the strongest parts from all the strongest sprout moles. See, look, there's still so much. And there's our boy, and I feel sad. Oh, here's Kite Kid. Mysterious boy obsessed with wind conditions. He's usually seen in a floating forest flying his kite and mumbling something about weather. Strange kite, it seems to possess a life of its own. Here he is, King Carnivore. 
This is the guy we crushed. One of the sprout moles, many predators, king carnivore, evade sprout mole habitats by burrowing underground there before their sprout moles warm and chewy. That's kind of fucked. <laughs> Marina, Molly, okay, Marina. The reckless and rash middle child of the slime says there's a short temper and enjoys taking living things apart and putting them back together, usually without their permission. <laughs> Molly. The devious and cunning older slime sister knows how to find enjoyment in everything. She's mastered all the sciences, but sticks with programming as it requires the least amount of movement. Is quite fond of cheesy potato chips. Medusa. The calm and practical young slime sister mainly deals with liquid elements and vials because they are pretty. She's an expert at diffusing difficult situations as her sisters are, like to argue quite frequently. And then Humphrey, the final one on the list. Absolute raw terror. And Humphrey actually wrote in Squishy 2, Nyak Nyak, which is fucking scary. <laughs> I hate Humphrey. <laughs> That's the most terrifying thing we've experienced in this game. Dislike that. Alright, I think we're gonna end it there. But by the way, it looks in like Fofax and then also the map. And the fact that we completed that already. I get a feeling. Like, have we. Is there like a chunk of where we missed a bunch of these somewhere? Not really. Like, beneath a trapdoor and in the Lost Pyre's Flame could be Pyrefly Forest. forest um, or any of those. Like, none of these are like in a pyramid. Surrounded by goo was when that one thing. Captured in a steel trap. And then at the end of the map, and in a field of white snow, and past the end of the road. Hmm. Weird. I have no idea where this game is gonna go. But I'm gonna, I will look up later. If we're supposed to hit the pyramid before we finish Welcome to Black Space. And just see, because I want to experience the story of every place. Um, but... That's going to do it for this session, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'm sorry for being gone for so long. I've just been really busy, and then, you know, I had to catch back up save data-wise, which, as you can see, took, like, fucking 12 and a half hours, because the session was two and a half hours long. <laughs> so, uh, sorry about that, but we're back. We're kicking it. Hoo-ha. So, I, uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, this session of Amori, and I can't wait to see you in the next one, because I have no idea what's happening, and I'm scared for all the beings I love in this game. <laughs> Alright, bye! <laughs>